Dude, what the hell? That dog's in heat, man. Heat, man. Welcome back. Now it's time for some Heat Man action. In my opinion, this level in Mega Man 2 is the most difficult overall. Uh, it's because of those cylinder things, they just come after you, um, and they're relentless, they don't stop. Um, I thought the leaf shield would work that would work well here, but it didn't really. You'll see me try to use it pretty soon, but these cylinder things are annoying, but also this level has the famous reappearing and disappearing blocks, which you'll see in a minute. As you can see here, the leaf shield works great if you're not moving. Later on, there will be moving platforms and stuff where this thing is absolutely precious to use, but here, because I have to jump, and as soon as you move, it basically flies off of you, so it's really not that effective. The metal blades overall are a more effective weapon because you can fire them in any direction. Overall, out of all the master weapons in Mega Man 2, the metal blades are by far the best weapons. Yeah, enough of that crap. Let's just go back to the metal blades. This part here with these slinky enemies was way more trouble for me than it should have been. Um, I thought maybe using the time stopper would help, but <laughs> as you can see, I really struggle in this part. Um, I actually died on this part and had to restart it, but way more complicated than it should have been. And here we go. Disappearing, reappearing blocks. And, of course, we fall down the ladder because we only have so many seconds in our life, if the atheists are correct. And I like to save all the seconds. Yeah. Doing some power-up gathering here. Might as well take advantage of their unrelenting and regenerating nature to stock up on all life. Because the, these things just don't stop. They just keep coming. No matter how many you kill, there's another one to take its place. You have to be careful on this one because it can drop out from under you and you can die. Alright, so this is probably the toughest part of the level. Um, there's an easy way and there's a hard way to do this. I'm showing you the hard way. The easy way is to just use item 2, which is like this uh, jet scooter thing, and you just skip this whole part. But I decided to do this the hard way, so enjoy.
just use item two, damn it. It's actually not too hard. You just jump from one to the other, but there's certain spots where you have to immediately jump up that you have to just memorize. Um, for example, over this pit, it's like the fourth block. You then have to immediately jump up or you're going to miss it. Overall, it's not too, too bad, but it is a lot easier with item two. Item two you can find from Airman stage, which we'll do Airman later. But This Sniper Joe was way too much trouble. Um, I started fighting it, and then I was like, alright, screw it, I need to get out of here. <laughs> so I made sure I started with Fresh Life by dying, and uh, now we're going to take on Heat Man. Heat Man himself is not too bad, especially with the bubble weapon. Of course, water goes good against fire, so... Bubble weapon is uh, pretty effective against him. Heat Man, when he dies gives you the atomic fire which is really powerful against woodman you'll you'll see me use it later um, I otherwise don't really use it much all right till next time remember max stone nine 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 I think four nines yeah for maximum entertainment yeah